everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums. I have something cool to show you. This is a Valentine's Day project. This is called 10 Things I Love About You. I'm going to untie it and open it up, and you'll see inside are all these cute little compartments. So there are actually 12 compartments, but I numbered them 1 through 10. You'll see the compartments on the side don't have numbers, but I left them plain so you could put a little card in one and maybe put some Giardelli chocolates in the other or something of that sort. So let me show you how I make the box. And each one, by the way, is half an inch thick. Now you might have seen one I made at Christmas that is an inch, an inch and a quarter thick. It's a little bit bigger, but these are small little ones just to put love notes in each one. So you might not want to put 10 things I love about you, but um, you might want to just make little notes and it makes a cute little Valentine's Day project. All right, let me show you how I made it. So let's start with the large boxes. So the large top is four and seven eighths by eight and a half. What we're gonna do is score half an inch on all four sides. Half an inch on all four sides. And to do that, instead of uh, scoring here, oops, sorry, scoring here and then go over to score here, it's just easier if you rotate it just to make sure it's half an inch. So we're going to do all our scoring. All right, so that is the large top, and you're going to have two of those. And then the large bottom. I, and I'm not, I've done most of them. I'm just doing one of each size just to go through it with you. Um, the large bottom, again, you'll need two, and that's four and three quarters by eight and three eighths. And the measurements are listed in the description box below. And again, gosh, I can't get this straight today. Score on all four sides. So again, I have two of those. And then the medium bottom is four and four, four by four and five eighths. Four by four and five eighths. We're gonna score half an inch. So there's two of them. And then the medium top, four and an eighth by four and three quarters. Four and an eighth by four and three quarters. Score half an inch on all four sides. All right, let's do the small ones. Small ones you're gonna need eight of each. The bottom is two and a half by three. Two and a half, two and a half by three. Score half an inch on all four sides. So I've got eight of those. And then the small top is two and a half by three and an eighth. Two and a half by three and an eighth. You're going to need eight of those and score it half an inch on all four sides. All right, and that's it for the scoreboards. Then I'm going to take a bone folder and I'm going to, so this is where the indentations are. I'm going to turn it over so now it comes up and I'm going to fold and burnish on all the score marks we just made. So I'll do the the long side and the short side all at once. And I'm keeping them all together. Here's the small bottom. So again, turning it upside down. Fold and burnish. Actually, I'll go like that. And I drew it lightly in pencil to put the measurements on there, 
I'm going to erase before I start putting the paper on just to make sure that I don't have any mark showing. So the medium top, fold and burnish. I'm using incidentally a 110 pound cardstock. Um, I find it works better for these boxes. It's stronger. Now, if you just have 65 pound, it's going to get stronger once you add the other layers to it. But, you know, the stronger the better, in, in my opinion. And then finally, the last ones. I'm turning it over so the bump is on the top. And I'm going to burnish all four score marks. I'm just trying to keep these in piles so they're all together. Um, it's probably not necessary because once you you'll know which is the large compared to which is the small. Okay, and this one's already been done. So now that I've done that, you could take scissors. I'm going to take an exacto, and you're going to make a cut on one of the score lines up to where it intersects. I thought it would be better to illustrate exactly where I'm going to cut. So it doesn't matter whether you cut this side or that side. Just do one on each side. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to put a line there. And that's where we're going to cut. So you just take your X-Acto or your scissors and make as straight a line as possible. And there we go. I'll cut the rest of these in fast motion so we can get them all done. Okay, so that part is done. Now what we're going to do is take our glue and we're going to fold it in. So to do that, I'm going to fold those flaps in and add some glue. To the flaps and then I'll take one side at a time and fold it and hold it. You could get some clothespins if you wanted to here. This is where art glitter glue is wonderful because it holds it right away. And again, that's why you want, so this one's not as straight on as I want it to be. So go ahead and make all those little boxes. All right, so now I have all of the boxes and tops folded and glued. So now I'm ready to make the construction of the base. All right, so I've got all my boxes made and I put the tops on the bottoms and put them all together. So I'm gonna put those all aside and I'm going to get out two sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. I'm going to run a strip of score tape along one edge. I'm using 3 eighths. 3 eighths or a quarter inch would be fine. Go ahead and burnish real well. Peel off the backer paper of the score tape. About you guys, but every time I grow my nails, I can't use them anymore. And then we'll go ahead and join these because we're going to obviously cover the um, the chipboard for the outside of the box. All right. And now that we have that, I've got three pieces of 
chipboard, eight and a half by eight and a half, eight and a half by eight and a half, eight and a half by one and a half. And I'm going to put score tape um, along the perimeter and then I'll fill the inside with ATG and glue. So I'm going to speed this up and get it done. And then I'm going to add glue to the insides and finish putting it together. All right, so I've got my two pieces of paper together and I've got my spine. I've already put down some glue where the ATG or the score tape is not. And I'm just going to do my best to center that. Best I can. And then just because I like to have um, some way of measuring it, I'm going to add quarter inch score tape right next to the spine. It does a couple of things. It helps hold everything together. And then also it reminds you to space things so uh, the paper will fold and not crack. I'm doing a crappy job of putting this in, but it's done. I'm going to burnish that. Okay, and then I've already peeled off the uh, score tape and I've put in ATG, crisscrossed it, and again I'm going to add some art glitter glue in the center. Now, if you had a big piece of score tape, a score tape sheet, that would work as well. I don't happen to have any, so I'm just making sure that there's adhesive throughout most of that. And you'll notice that there are different um, colors of the chipboard. I actually had glued pieces of uh, the covers of uh, paper pads together. All right, so I don't want to exactly a quarter inch. I want a little bit less. So I'm putting this, trying to have it even, on the score tape there in the center. It's about three-eighths of an inch, not quarter inch. And I put that down and I'll do the same with the other piece. peeling up the score tape. Sorry I did white. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done white. It's hard for you to see. And I'm going to put that down, leaving maybe three-eighths. Three-eighths? Yeah, not quite a quarter inch, so three-sixteenths. I'm sorry. That's the measurement, but three-sixteenths of an inch. Push that down and turn it over and give it a real good burnish. If you have a flat bone folder, this is where it would work really well. So I burnished that really well. Now I'm going to feel for the edge of the chipboard and put my bone folder to make a crease. There you go. You can see it a little better then. And I'll do that just to help uh, train the paper where it's going to fold. All right, now what I want to do is I want to trim off the corner. And the best way to do that, um, there's a couple of ways. First of all, you want to make sure you leave about an eighth of an inch from this corner. 
and you could either use an exacto probably could have come a little closer or my preferred method is to use scissors now if you're not sure grab a ruler and draw the line first it's okay to be more than an eighth of an inch but you really don't want to be less than the eighth of an inch I mean if you do come too close and the chipboard shows you could either cover it if you use black cover it with a sharpie or just take this corner and just put it right there and nobody will ever know all right now that I've got that you can we'll go ahead and adhere score tape on the edge or use art glitter glue to fold it. In this case, I'm just going to use glitter glue. So I want some along this edge. I'm going to put it close to that edge. That helps sort of help the papers fold a little bit. And then I'm going to go all here. And then Pull this towards you. Oops, let me move everything out of the way. So pull it towards you. I start in the center and fold it down and then burnish. And I'll do the same with this side. I'm just going to add a little here just to make sure it's going to stay. Add a little bit here. Whoops. Close right at the edge. Put the tip of your art glitter glue on the edge. And you can turn your book like that on its edge. Starting in the center and pulling towards me as I go. If there are any bubbles, see this is bubbling up a little bit. If there are any bubbles, then just sort of train the bubbles to go into that little crevice. And go ahead and burnish so the art glitter glue moves around a little bit and it stays nice and flat all right and now here when it comes to the corners again i apologize for using the white let me see if i can zoom in a little that zoomed in a lot all right taking my bone folder i'm pushing this down same here, push it down. And there's still a little glue there because when I put glue on this edge, there's still some glue, so that'll hold that down. I'm gonna go against the edge here, the edge here, and then let me, so. Go ahead and do this. I add art glitter glue to the edge. Add it to this edge. I'm just taking the top off. I thought it was empty, but it's not. There just was some gunk stuck in it. All right, so I've done both sides. And uh, actually all four sides. Now I'm going to take my bone folder and I notice that there is a piece of paper stuck in there. I'm going to take my bone folder and gently, I'm going to try to take um, the heel, which is a little more rounded, and just try to push the paper into the seam so it adheres to that score tape that we put in the center. Let's fold the paper as we go. I'm 
And there we go. And I like to move my bone folder on the edge. Now I've taken score tape. I used half an inch just because that's what I had, but you could use three eighths. I'm sorry, three quarters, whatever you have. And I put some on either side of the channel um, on the edge of the chipboard. So on the spine I put on the edges and on the inside edge of both of the eight and a half by eight and a half pieces. And I also took a piece of cardstock and it was about five and a half by eight and three eighths. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue, put it in where the uh, score tape isn't. And I'm going to adhere this on. And I'm going to burnish, making sure the glue moves around. And then I'll gently find that channel and push the paper into where the seam is and fold it gently. I'm going to turn this this way so I can fold this. And there we go. So there's the book. This has smooches on it, but that's okay because we're going to cover it. So now I'm going to get some colored cardstock and I'm using this bright pink and I cut it down to eight and three eighths by eight and three eighths. And I'm going to cover the inside front, the inside back, the outside front and the outside back. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And you can either use glue or tape or a combination, but whatever you do, just try to get a lot of adhesive because this is where you're going to put the boxes on top of it. And you want to make sure that, um, that nothing's going to come up when you lift up the top of the box. Try to stay closer to the edge of the book and not get into this channel where the spine is. And now I've cut papers to go on the top of the box. I don't have that much uh, scrapbook paper to put, so I'm using plain cardstock, and then I'll add scrapbook paper below so there will be a layer. And I'm also cutting strips to put on the sides of the boxes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. The measurements are listed below. Feel free to adjust if you're going to do different layers. But I'll go ahead and get that done and then show you what I've made. And so now I've decorated everything and here's the cover as I showed you before. If you open it up, then it'll take you inside and you see all those cute little compartments. And again, they're about half an inch thick so you can put notes in them or little candies or whatever you want. So thanks for joining me. I hope you make one of these and if you do, let me know what you're using it for, if it's Valentine's Day or an anniversary or just little gifts. So again, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. We'll see you again soon. Bye.